What is going on everyone? Thank you for clicking on the video. So, right now I am sitting on the floor and you might be wondering why. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. You probably don't remember, you probably weren't following the channel, but like a few months ago I had like this tight hip pain while I was squatting and it lingered on for like three months. I wasn't sure what it was, I was trying to stretch it out and nothing seemed to work until I eventually started to roll this lacrosse ball over my glute. And what I noticed was my glute was very tight and I had a crazy amount of knots in it. And whenever I would actually roll this ball on it, it would be so excruciating that it would, I would actually like start tearing. So I did that uh, like three, four times a week for like, it took like two months for the knots to finally get out and for the glute pain to go away. Um, but ever since I started doing the lacrosse ball and got those knots out, no pain while squatting. So I've been doing this two to three times a week. I never really show any mobility stuff that I actually do, even though I do do it. So I figured I would show you just a little bit of what I do with this lacrosse ball. I typically roll it on my quads and on my glutes. I probably should do my whole body, but honestly, I don't have problems with anything else and I'm a little bit lazy. So I do mobility stuff for my whole body, but I only put this over my glutes and quads just because of the problems I had in the past. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit what I do and it does really hurt. So pretty much first I will do my quad. I will put the ball on the floor and you gotta find, I wanna make sure you can see. Hey guys. Um, so you wanna put it on the ball, and you can't see the ball, but basically you wanna put it on your quad and you just wanna roll it around and you don't wanna actually roll it, just keep rolling around. You wanna roll it until you find that like you're gonna feel a spot where, like right now, where it's tight and it really hurts. And rather than keep moving it around, you wanna just let the ball put pressure on it for like 30 seconds. And that 30 seconds helps break up the knot. So you don't wanna like keep moving around because that kinda of defeats the purpose, but a lot of people do that. You wanna find it, that spot that hurts. And when you find that tight spot, that's the part that you need to break up. And that's the part that you wanna put pressure on. And, like I said, it does hurt. So then, that's what I do for the quad. I'll roll both quads, typically for about five minutes each. Then for the glute, now this is that one, this one hurts even more. So the glute, you basically, you kind of want to sit on it. And just like the quad, you want to find the place that's giving you the most pain. I find that if you kind of like bring your other, the foot that you're not, like right now it's my left glute. If I bring up my right foot, if I cross it over up here, it really helps the glute relax and you kind of feel it more. So same with the, on the glute, just roll it around until you find that spot, and like right there, for me, this is the spot that was giving me the most problems. It took two months of this for it to actually like really break up, because when I first started doing it, the pain was like unbearable. So now it still hurts, but like it's not unbearable. So I do it twice a week, and I've definitely noticed a difference. So I will, I will do five minutes on here as well, five minutes on the other glute. Takes about, I guess, 15 to 20 minutes overall. Uh, I've been doing this now for, I do it twice a week. I do it like Monday, Friday. I don't do it on my uh, gym days. No reason, you could do it on your gym days like after or before your workouts. I just happen to do it on my off days. Um, so that's what I do for the lacrosse ball. I don't foam roll. I find that the foam roller, I never really found much of an effect. I probably wasn't doing it correctly, but the lacrosse ball is a lot harder, so I feel like it breaks up the knots a lot better. Uh, it's more like com compact, so it really gets in those knots. So that's what I've been doing. But like I said, I don't do it on my upper body. I probably should, but I don't. I do other things for my upper body, but this video is going to be long enough with this. So I think I'll show my upper body and my the other mobility stuff I do in another video. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the workout. So this was my latest upper hypertrophy workout. For those of you who are new to the channel or missed the last couple of videos, I recently changed my routine to where I am doing a four day upper lower split based basically is two strength days two hypertrophy days. I believe I have shown all of my workouts now on this new routine besides this one. So this will be like the last one. So if you want to see all my workouts on the new routine, you can go back a few videos and check them out. I do think I showed them all so far. So upper hypertrophy. Uh, basically, the goal of this, of this workout is to hit everything on my upper body in higher rep ranges. And you saw I started off with hammer pull-ups. Uh, here I am using an inclined chest machine. 
Now, the thing is, I tend to focus more on machines on this upper hypertrophy day. That doesn't mean you have to focus more on machines. It just happens to be that my gym has a lot of machines that I really do enjoy and really feel work, my, uh, work the muscles pretty well. I don't think machines really lend themselves too well to strength days, just because when you're trying to get stronger, uh, you really want to focus more on the free weights. I do feel like those are more beneficial to develop strength on. So that leaves the only time to really use the machines uh, are for higher reps, which happens to be the hypertrophy day. So if your gym doesn't really have any good machines that you like, like what you just saw, you could do incline dumbbell, you could do flat dumbbell, flat barbell. Uh, here you do see I, I am doing free weight dumbbell rows just because I do feel those. So you don't have to use machines. I'm not telling you that uh, hypertrophy workouts use, mach uh, use machines. I am saying that if you have machines that you like, they do seem to work better on the higher rep ranges on your hypertrophy days than they do for your lower rep ranges on strength days. But if you wanted to, you could do all free weights on your hypertrophy days as well. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I've done that in the past. And honestly, I would do that if it wasn't for me going to this gym that just spoils me with all these amazing machines. Because I actually, that incline machine you saw, that flat machine you saw, I've had those. I've had access to those since I've been since I'm 15. I've tried like dumbbells over those, and I honestly feel those machines more in my chest. And the incline one in particular, I think that my upper chest wouldn't be nearly what it is today if it wasn't for that machine. So, since I feel the machine, I always I always recommend if you feel a particular machine, don't think you're hardcore because you're using only free weights that you don't feel over machines. You're not hardcore because you're using free weights. If you feel a machine, use the machine. And like I said, they seem to work better in higher rep ranges. I wouldn't really want to use a machine like that on like four to six reps. It just seems a little bit awkward. So here I am finishing off the chest portion of the workout with these flies. Um, basically, I, I didn't show all my sets on all these exercises, but I am showing you all the exercises. I started off with the pull-ups. I did five sets on those. I did three sets of 10 with some weight added, and then I did two sets of 12, just body weight. Uh, so there was five sets in the pull-ups, that incline chest press machine you saw, I did superset that with the pull-ups. I did four sets on that uh, of 10 reps. Uh, afterwards, I did the flat chest machine superset with dumbbell rows. In this workout, I believe I did three sets of 12 on both of those exercises with a drop set added as well. Um, afterwards, I moved on to this row machine and I superset of this with the chest fly machine that you saw before this clip. And I did two sets of 15 on that. And that was all I did for back and chest. Keep in mind though, that's not all I do for back and chest for the week. I also have a strength day where I hit back and chest as well. And then I have deadlifts, which are not even on those days. That's on my lower strength day. So that also hits back additionally to that. So afterwards, I, this uh, goes moves on to the shoulders and arm portion of the upper day. I did three sets of these dumbbell Arnold presses, uh, three sets of 10 for this workout. And I did superset that with this uh, preacher curl machine here. Also three sets, uh, and I think I did three sets of 12 here. Um, like I said, you are gonna see a lot of machines. Doesn't mean you have to use machines. I just happen to have machines I like. My gym, for example, has like 12 preacher machines. And uh, I particularly like this one more than regular preacher curl. So if you have a machine that you really like like that, go ahead and use it. You're not being... You're not being lazy. You're not being less hardcore because you're using a machine that works your muscles better. You're just being smarter. Uh, after those two, I went on to rope face pulls. And I always look sick when I do these. So that's the only reason I do them. <laughs> no, th I really feel these in my rear delts. And I superseted this with a tricep exercise that you will see in the next clip. Oh, my calf looks good there too. And that's all I did for upper day. So... I'm st I, am, I am liking this new routine. I do like breaking up the hypertrophy days and the strength days. You do not need to break your workouts up that way. I'm just strictly doing that now because I got a little bored of the last way. But so far, I'm enjoying it. It's pretty fun. And uh, that's basically it. So if you guys like the video, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, it really does help me out. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video.